People's expectations for what a hybrid can do, well, they were set by the Toyota Prius. It's the benchmark. It's a very popular car that, until now, hasn't had much direct competition. Well, enter the Honda Insight. It's obvious it's aimed to compete at the Prius. It looks like a Prius, but it costs less. But does that lower cost come at a price? If you're buying an Insight, there's going to be one number that you care about the most, and here it is. 38 miles per gallon. That's what the Insight got overall in our fuel economy testing. That's pretty good, but that's worse fuel economy than you'd get with the Toyota Prius. Part of the reason for that is that the Insight uses a fairly rudimentary hybrid system. It's a small motor and battery that basically helps out the gasoline engine. The Insight can't really move on its own with the engine completely shut off. Another way the Insight saves fuel is it shuts off the engine automatically at light. Now most hybrids these days, they can restart the engine smoothly, you barely know. Not so much with the Insight, there's a shutter when the engine restarts. So you don't get the fuel economy of a Prius, well, you don't even get the acceleration of a Prius. The Insight, it's pretty slow, 0 to 60, it takes almost 12 seconds, and you really have to push to keep the car at speed going uphill. Pushing that little engine hard, you also get a lot of engine noise. That's on top of the road noise you have, so the Insight, it's pretty loud inside. And there's another disappointment. Hondas, they generally have sporty handling, but the Insight doesn't. The steering doesn't have much feel, and there's not much tire grip. The Insight is softly sprung. That means there's a lot of body roll in the corners. It doesn't mean that there's a good ride. In fact, the ride, it's often busy and jittery. But the combination of soft springs and limited tire grip, it can make the car a handful in emergency situations. Even with the stability control on our EX, it has to work really hard to keep the car under control, and it comes in rather late. One of the few benefits of the Insight over the Prius is that it has a slightly lower base price, but there's a big catch with that. The base Insight does not have stability control. In this car, without stability control, it's going to be a handful. Visibility is decent to the front and the sides, but there's problems out the back. It's a split rear window, and the bar that goes across the back, it can hide cars. And also, the area that's covered by the rear wiper, it's not very large. So if you've been inside of a Honda Fit or Civic recently, well, you'll probably be pretty familiar with the inside of an Insight. Like a Civic, the Insight, it has a dual-tier dashboard. The speedometer, digital, high up top, the tachometer and other gauges down low. It's a bit unusual. It takes some getting used to as you scan up and down. Other controls, they're pretty simple. It's a long reach to some radio controls. You don't have a dedicated tune knob. It works as both volume and tune. And these climate controls, they get blocked by the steering wheel rim, so you have to focus on which button you want. Like most hybrids, there's a few hybrid-specific displays inside the Insight. When you shut off the car, you're given an Eco score based on how efficiently you've been driving the car. There's also an Econ button. Pushing that button, it changes the throttle response, which is supposed to help you get better fuel economy. But in our fuel economy test, we found it made no difference. The Insight might look like a Prius, but it's a whole lot smaller. And the place where that really shows up is rear seat room. First off, getting in back here, it's a chore. This roof line, it comes really low. You really have to watch your head getting in and out. Once you get into the back seat, you're going to find there's not much room at all. In fact, it feels like the third row seat in some SUVs. Not a comfortable place to be. The back seat might be tight, but the Insight's hatchback design gives you quite a bit of cargo room and some flexibility. So in the end, when Honda finally came out with direct competition for the Prius, well, we expected a lot. After all, we expect all Hondas to be efficient and practical and refined. Well, the Insight, it is efficient, but there's some compromises in practicality, and it's definitely not refined.